It is, uh, wait a second. Ikan is two. No. No, I'm a bit confused now. <laughs> so okay. I, I will just, <laughs> we will just, I will just, um, topic that we're going to, to discuss now is about the usage of the tenses in verbs. Okay. That would be great. Okay. So have you been learning Tagalog or? No, not a, no, the only word in Tagalog that I know is bebeko. <laughs> <laughs> bebeko? <laughs> okay, so there's similarity in Tagalog, but uh, of course, a lot of difference also. Um, we will be, you know, of course, you know, we will start from, from the word tulog. You mm -hmm. know what tulog is, right? Uh, tulog na is like sleep well. This is this is what mothers sing to children. Tulugna, tulugna. No, is it different? <laughs> There's a difference between um, tulog, uh, katulog na, og katulog. Mm -hmm. Okay, these are both actually ordering someone to sleep. Mm -hmm. It's just the same. When you say katulog. Uh, when you say katulog, okay, katulog, okay, I'm say, I'm telling you, okay, yuri, katulog, okay, so it's, I'm ordering you to sleep, okay, mm -hmm. so the other sentence, the other thing is katulog na, it's, the, it's still the same, I'm just, I'm just also uh, ordering you to sleep, but with na means now, already, okay, Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's like I want you to sleep now in this instance now in this, you know, right away. Okay, so we will discuss now about verbs and the tenses. Okay, so we will start from tulog. Okay, so mm -hmm. in the future tense, future tense of tulog is matulog. Mm -hmm. Say for example, okay, we will use it in a sentence. Um, I will sleep. I will sleep. Okay? Matulog ko. Matulog ko. Mm -hmm. I will sleep. Matulog ko. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, the next uh, tense will be present tense. Okay? Present tense. So, the present tense of mat uh, tulog is just tulog. Mm -hmm. Tulog, actually. There's an intonation. Okay, tulog. Mm -hmm. When you say, like, this is very unusual, but if you're going to, if there's somebody that can still speak, even if they're asleep, they're asleep, so you say, tulog ko. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm asleep. Okay. <laughs> Past tense of uh, tulog. Tulog is natulog. Okay, like mm -hmm. if you want to say, if you want to tell someone that uh, I slept, uh, natulog po. Mm -hmm. Natulog po, okay? Natulog, natulog po, ko, okay. Na natulog, natulog ko. Natulog po. Mm -hmm. so, and then, there's this imperative form. Imperative form. Imperative form is ordering someone or you are giving command to someone, Okay. So if you want to tell someone to sleep, or if you order someone to sleep, or if you command somebody to sleep, you tell him or her, katulog. Mm -hmm. hmm? Katulog. Okay, okay katulog. So want, katulog, and I want you to sleep right away, right now. Katulog na. Katulog na. Yuri, katulog na. Karun mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, mm -hmm. there's an addition with that one. <laughs> if mm -hmm. I wanted to... I wanted to um, be the, you know, be the, be the boss, and I wanted to tell you right away. Katulog na karon dayon right now. Uh -huh. ah, karon dayon. I will type. Okay. Uh -huh. Karon. Sorry. Karon dayon. So don't worry about this because I will be typing it um, later uh -huh. on in 
can review. Okay. So, so are you are we good with the tulog uh, verb? Yes. So, uh, so that's matulog. Uh, uh, that's I will sleep. Matulog ko. Tulog na ko means present. Natulog ko. That's past. Katulog. That's imperative. Katulog na. Correct. That is right. That is right. So um, later, I want you to pay attention with this one because I will be discussing. There's a difference between this verb katulog. Okay, with the other verbs that I'm going to discuss to you. Uh -huh. Okay, this next verbs. Okay, so um, I will tell you why later on. <laughs> okay, so the next verb will be, uh, you know what is uh, to eat. To eat. eat. Um, uh, I, I, maybe, but I don't remember. I don't. Okay, taon. Taon. Mm-hmm. Kaon, I will type. Sorry. Kaon, okay. 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 So, the word kaon, if uh, you make it in future tense, it will become mukaon. Let's say, I will eat mukaon ko. Mukaon ko, okay. Mukaon ko, and in the present tense. It will become to kaon. What, what? Is it to kaon? No, no. <laughs> the 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 uh, present tense of kaon is ga kaon. Ga kaon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in uh, actually, and you really wanted to know what old people use. Okay, so it is. Nagakaon. Uh -huh. Just add na in the beginning. Nagakaon. But it is actually gakaon when you're currently doing it. You're, I'm currently eating now. Okay, so we use the time expressions now. Karon. Uh -huh. Okay, now karon. Uh -huh. So gakaon ko karon. I will type. Uh -huh. Gakaon ko karon. Uh -huh. So this karun means now, right? Uh -huh. In past tense, okay, past tense, it will become nagkaon. I ate. I already ate. Nagkaon nako. Nagkaon na because already na. And uh -huh. then the pronoun ko me me, okay. So when you say nagkaon ako, I already ate. Uh -huh. Okay. And imperative form. Okay. So in, what is imperative form once again? Is ordering. When you order someone, when you command someone to eat, okay, you say pagkaon. Pagkaon. Okay. Pagkaon. So, uh, you see this? Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. So the next word is. Do you have any questions? No. None. Uh, could you uh, could you tell me this phrase? I hear it from my Filipino friends often. Uh, they are eat your lunch now. Well, it's part of your culture. In my culture, we don't say that, but I, I'm sure that is a, it's a common phrase in in the Philippines. Like eat your lunch now. How would you say the whole phrase? You want to specify that lunch? Okay. So, yes. pani udto na. Pani udto na. Mm -hmm. Okay, pani udto na. Mm -hmm. And when you want to say pamahaw, when you want to say, sorry, have your breakfast now, okay? Mm -hmm. So, pamahaw na. Okay? Okay. I will start. Pamahaw na. So, it's I'm ordering, or I, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you a command, or I'm telling you to eat now, okay? To eat mm -hmm. your breakfast now. Pamahaw mm -hmm. na. And and lunch is paniudto na, right? Dinner is mm -hmm. panihapon na. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay? So the whole phrase actually is pagkauna sa paniudto. Well, it w- it will be very long, but if you say paniudto na it in it's totally right. It's correct. Okay. It's grammatically mm-hmm. correct. No problem with it, okay? Mm-hmm. So uh, so paniudto is lunch, pamahaw is breakfast, and dinner is um panihapon. Hapon. Mhm. Okay. Okay. So the next word. Do you have any questions? No. no. Okay. So we will proceed to another to the next word. And next word will be lakau. Lakau. Okay. To walk. You know what? Correct. Lakau. So what do you think is uh, what do you think will happen to the word lakau if uh, I mean in in future tense? Uh so from what it's a uh, Molakao. Correct. That is correct. So you're writing it, right? You're writing it down. Everything yes, that yes. I'm telling. Okay, mm-hmm. correct. So, mulakao. And in present tense? Uh, tulakao. No. Um, so, nalakao then. Galakao. Okay, galakao. So, uh, Galakao? Uh, ha- mhm. Oh, okay. Galakao or nagalakao, as I have uh, told you earlier. Just the same with the kaon, okay? Kaon mm-hmm. and lakao. So, uh, galakao, or I'm currently walking now, so galakao ko karon. Mhm. So, I'm currently doing it, so karon. Now, galakao ko. I'm walking. Okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, and in the past, it will become naglakaw ko. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, when you arrive and someone asks you, where have you been? Naglakaw ko. <laughs> okay. But it's have you been? It's like naglakaw ka, right? Where have you been? Ah, uh, where have you been? Is Asaka Gikan. I will find Okay. Asaka Gikan. Where? Where is Asa? Right. Mm-hmm. Ka and you. Is Gikan is a uh, which place have you been? <laughs> and then the imperative form of it is Paglakao. Paglakao. Mm-hmm. Okay, so when you order someone and command someone to, can you go? You can actually use also that when you want to tell someone to go. Uh, go, go now. Okay, so you need to go now. So paglakaw, paglakaw na, na is now already. Mm-hmm. Okay. So the next word will be sulti. You know what sulti is? No. So it is to talk, to talk, or to speak. Mm-hmm. And how do you spell that? Salty. Sorry. Salty. Salty. Okay. Salty. So, how do you think will happen to the word salty when it? More salty. More salty. Correct. That is correct. So the next, uh, in 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 present tense, what will happen? Um, uh, ga, gasulti or nagasul nagasulti. Correct, correct. And in the past tense? Um, na, nag nagsulti nagsulti ko. That is right. And in imperative is. Um. Pagsulti na. Right. Pagsulti. Okay. So now, I am going, and so on, and with the other verbs. Like, uh, when you say dagan, you know what the word dagan means? No. To run. To run. Okay. 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 So I will type dagan is to run. 
to run. Okay, so this is just the same with the other verbs. So uh, present tense is mudagan, agdagan, gida. Okay, so uh -huh. NY is the first word, first verb is different from these other verbs. Uh -huh. Okay, so aren't you like, you know, questioning yourself, why is it different from the others? It is different because tulog, uh, the tulog word is not an action word, actually. It is a state of a human. Uh -huh. It is your thing. So that is the reason why it is different. And we will be discussing more about this one. Do you have any questions about it? So there are ma main types of verbs in when they conjugate. So they are either action verbs or state verbs, and this will mm -hmm. like two gr two groups of with two different prefixes in present, past, and future. Yes, and actually okay. there there's uh, there's also this when the the focus is the actor and the focus is the object. Okay. Okay. Interesting, huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So actually, um, there's a there's a similarity with the Tagalog, but um, okay. Well, anyway, if you're not really interested with Tagalog, so we'll let that. Well, uh, just 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 in the future, because I want to master Cebuana. Well, by the way, I left the Philippines at the end of March, but I I'm planning to return after, well, when the borders yeah. are open again. So, uh, but uh, since I'm going to live in the Bisaya area where most people speak Bisaya, it's my first. Uh, purpose and Tagalog, I will learn it later. Mm, okay, then. that's great. So, um, and I will, I will just add something with the, the you know, remember the common phrases that we have learned. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, uh, like, like the the easy easy uh, sentences like "komusta ka," you have, you know, already mm -hmm. about it, right? Okay. So, yes. like. Uh, Unsay imong alan? Very easy, right? So, uh, so what what are you doing, or, or what does it mean? Uh, what, what is it, what, what is your name? Okay, right. Unsay imong yes. alan? Ako, ako si Yuri. Okay, so the answer will be the answer will be ako si Yuri. Ikaw, unsay imong alan? You want me to type? No, it's clear. Just I, I can, uh, I understand it. Ako si Yuri, ikaw unsay mong alan. So I just understand yes. it. Okay, that's correct. So the next phrase will be, asa ka nagpuyo. Okay, asa ka nagpuyo. So do you remember what is asa ka nagpuyo? Uh, yes, like where do you live? Correct, that is correct. So, and then the next question will be, Pila imong edad. How much is it like, how old are you? Mm -hmm. uh, how to say it again? Pila imong? Pila imong edad. Okay. Okay. And uh, could, you some people could, say could, uh, could you type the last word because I cannot hear it clearly? Mm, actually, it's just like the same with the. Uh, I think Spanish edad. Okay, I will just uh, uh, the whole sentence. Pila imong edad. Edad is age. Edad is age. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, I, and some people ask, pila na imong edad. Pila na imong edad. Mm -hmm. Okay, so which means. How old are you now? Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Uh, I, so, I I heard my fitness trainer in the Philippines. He asked me in English, not how old are you, but how young are you. It's something <laughs> something also from the Philippines. Uh, yeah, that's correct because uh, you know it's just a, a funny way of saying it. I mean, the sarcasm way, you know, and uh, mm -hmm. because they, uh, you know, you know, us Filipinos, we don't wanna. Uh, it's really hard for us to offend someone it's, mm -hmm. well, it's it's hard to offend someone okay but filipinos are really 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 it's really hard for us to offend somebody so when someone asks you how old are you for uh for filipinos it's kind of offensive because you're okay. asking that you're 
you're asking me that I'm old just as a joke or I don't know what. So that's the reason why it started. It's it's how it started. The the okay. how young I was. Okay. So that's it. So anyway, so let me continue with the last um uh, topic. So those uh, sentences that I have um, mentioned, kumusta ka, unsay mo ngalan, that, okay? So there's this sentence. You just want, you just add something to those sentences, those phrases, okay? Just for you to be, to sound uh, familiar with the people you're talking to. That this is uh, being used to those people who are their friends, you know, or, mm -hmm. or it for it for you to sound more um it's not polite but uh to more comforting you wanted to come to your friend okay so you can say kumusta naman ka kumusta naman ka you just add man okay kumusta naman ka okay and then the next is uh like let's say this is not your friend, but you wanted to sound comforting and you wanted to sound hmm, just easy. So you say, uh, Unsa man imong alan? Okay? Uh -huh. uh, have you, are you paying attention with the man there? <laughs> yes, yes. So uh, I, I heard like, when they say kamusta ka, you can uh, answer, uh, ma yo man, salamat. So mm -hmm. you can also add, add correct, man. Correct, correct. Yes. Yeah. Actually, so... That is a word to add some phrases just to sound more comforting, just like so to, to sound easy, you know, to talk to someone that you'd be very easy to listen to. It's just like okay. that. Okay, so like um, the next phrase is um, uh, ako, si, ako si Yuri, uh, ikaw, unsa man mo ngalan, just like that, right? So, uh, mm -hmm. Does it sound comforting to you? Or, <laughs> well, to us Filipinos, it is actually comforting. So if you uh -huh. wanted to okay. sound comforting, so you can use that, uh, um, uh, what do you call this one, phrase, okay? So, uh -huh. uh, like, pila, pi, pila, pila man imong idad, okay? So, pila, pila man imong idad, unsa man, like that. So that's just it. <laughs> so do you have any questions? Do, do you have um, any more questions? No, thank you. It's it's clear so so far. Salamat. <laughs> okay, so salamat, and I, I really hope to have another session with you. So mm -hmm. and thank you so much. Yes, thank I you can. too. Yes, thank you for the class. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, and thank you so much to you too. And bye bye. Have a yes. nice day. Have yes, a nice thanks. Day. Yes, thanks you too. Bye.